skin is out on the item shop or in um, his, I guess, female counterpart is part of the battle pass. But if you want the male version, you have to get him on the item shop today. Looks kind of cool. Abstract is back. That's kind of an underrated skin. I like his second style. Some good emotes. Nightlight is back. Soccer skins. Okay, everything about that still here. And Terminator bundle is gone. Okay. So if you're picking up anything on the Fortnite item shop today, be sure to use code ASMR Gaming. Let's check out the Orin skin. Hey there. Orin on the hunt for his long lost twin. So I guess his twin sister is part of the battle pass. That's pretty cool though. I, I honestly wish Fortnite would do more skins in this style. Because, you know, I like anime, but I, I think the cell shaded look of this character, how it looks completely different from any other Fortnite skin, is awesome. Also, the eyes being animated and stuff like that just looks cool. Orin on the hunt for his long lost twin. Nice sneakers, pants are kind of cool, t shirt. Honestly, the skin is kind of awesome. I would definitely get this if I had the V-Bucks right now, maybe. <laughs> I gotta wait for the Fortnite crew to update so I get some more uh, V-Bucks, but... Back bling, Mecha Fusion Jump Kit. Okay. That looks awesome. There's like some animated LED lights on it. Looks super cool. I like the swords. Even a little Mecha Fusion goes a long way. Look at that. That looks... That looks cool. You can't, you can't look at me and tell me that's not a cool skin. That's cool. That looks kind of awesome. Also, his face looks like he's like, I don't know, kind of like Troublemaker or something like that. Am I right? Maybe I'm getting those feelings. I don't know. Over here is the Null Pick Harvesting Tool. Careful, this one's still under development. Ooh, beautiful animation with that. Look at that. Just like beam of laser red light exploding everywhere. Look at that. Beam. Sound is nice. Animation is super cool. You know, I actually kind of want to buy this just for that animation there. Look at that. Imagine every time you strike, you see that. That's so cool. Nice sound. End design is super cool. Maybe I need to get some V-Bugs today and I can get both of these. Let me know in the comments. Aura skin is back. Uh, one of the most popular Fortnite tryhard skins. Now the superhero skins are the most popular right now, but before it used to be Dynamo and Aura. Get the goods in style. She's got two edit styles. First one is definitely the most popular, this one right here. If you saw someone wearing this, chances are they were very good at the game. Not so much anymore since it became such a popular skin, but uh, Beware though if you still see people using this one. Popular and common skin. Pretty awesome. Here is her Goldilocks back playing a nice bag full of golden coins and jewels. Looks nice. Just right. <laughs> Minecraft diamonds in there. <laughs> uh, diamond eye harvesting tool. It, it looks could harvest. This one has a nice sound. One side is red, the other side is golden. Looks very beautiful. Uh, 500 V bucks, not bad, but. No unique animation, the sound is okay, and the design is pretty cool. Here is Guild. He also has two edit styles. I think this one always looks kind of goofy. The first one's nice, though. On the Path to Riches, 800 V-Bucks, Uncommon Skin. I know Nick Merckx and other people like that really like using this skin. At least when they played Fortnite. Uh, gold Chain Back Bling is actually a nice backpack full of golden coins, by the way. Just check inside here. Do you see that little, like, opening on the side? Those are golden coins. If it fits. Gold Chain Back Bling. And they're back to Orin. He sounds like an anime character, even with that name. Uh, over here, Abstract. The writings on the wall. Abstract, super cool. So his first edit style, kind of popular, but his second one, I mean, just look how cool that is. I'd say Abstract's second style is super underrated. That's why I got his skin, actually. Don't really care so much for this one, but I do like this one. I mean, come on. Look at that. Super underrated skin. Deserves more love. Tag bag, back bling's okay, though. 
not my favorite, it's fine. Paint the town red and white and purple. <laughs> nice, good skin. Renegade Roller has a nice animation, look at that paint explosion when you strike with it. Also a very unique sound. Go on a roll. And design is just really weird. Crazy sound, unique animation. Definitely worth the price, probably one of the craziest harvesting tools today on the item shop. Over here we got the Bash skin. Okay, Bash is back. He's got a bunch of edit styles to choose from. And they go from like normal to kind of creepy to creepier to creepiest. So, yeah. <laughs> when good llamas go bad. I kind of like his first style, but the thing I like the most is the llama corn shield, which you can use with the bright bomber and bright gunner skins, and it looks amazing. Plus, he also has like a dark style for it. And that style goes with the dark bomber. So, back blink's really good to combo with other skins in the Sunshine and Rainbow set. A mighty sigil. Here's his Razor Smash harvesting tool. Loud sound. Uh, no unique animation. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, this one. This one, the second one has a unique animation. The first style does not. That is so weird, but this one has a unique animation when you strike. Okay, weird how it, oh, it's only on the second one. After the rainbows end. So, nice, nice loud sound, a unique animation, and design is really bizarre and weird. And we're back to abstract. Then down here on the daily, we got Magnus. Magnus is back, okay. Conquer the Storm, part of the Norse set. So if you're into Vikings, this is the skin to get. Back bling is the Enduring Cape, Battle Proven. Nice cape, back bling. Looks comfy and warm. Here's a Nightlight skin. I don't even need to introduce this one. Rapscallion and Nightlight, probably the most common skins to come back on the item shop. They come back like every week since the beginning of the game. Never afraid of the dark. Part of the Neon Glow set. I have it. She's kind of cool, but kind of tired of the skin by now. Prismatic Edge Wrap is animated. Kind of cool. It's always changing colors, so it looks nice in game. Kind of like this one. Should probably get it because I have the Wonder Skin, and apparently Spectral Axe with Wonder Skin in this looks nice. There is the Snow Day emote. You can make a little, you know, Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> we'll make him our best friend, Frosty the Snow. Ah, no, he melted. Okay. We'll make him our best friend, Snow Day. Snow Day's a good movie, too. Shout out to those that know that one. Rage Quit. I'm out. <laughs> so if you're a controller player, you have to get this emote for 200 V-Bucks. It's really worth it. Love it. Scorecard, just a random emote, 200 V-Bucks, and it just pulls out a random number to rate your performance or how someone did in the game, I guess. Consider yourself judged. And then we got all the soccer skins still here. So you can select your favorite one. There's male and female soccer skins or football skins if you're anywhere outside of the US and yeah there's a bunch of different teams to choose from pretty cool recommend I got one myself uh, here's a bunch of soccer emotes football th soccer themed emotes pretty awesome as well uh, I guess I can show the two this one is Pelé's air punch kinda cool I like this one the most this one is very nice as well fancy footwork looks cool in game to do this, especially if you're wearing a soccer skin. These are some older emotes, also kind of nice. Red card's the most boring one in my opinion. Air horn's one of the most annoying ones, that's just a loud, obnoxious sound. But a Palais Air Punch definitely worth having. And then we got these packs here, the bundle and the diva pack, which is going away soon. These are probably leaving soon, so be sure to get them if you want and Fortnite crew is soon, so yeah, that is everything on the Fortnite item.